and increases by 120 gold per week for the first two weeks after the initial, and then increases by 180 gold per week until the goal is reached. According to this model, at the end of week T after the initial, where T is greater than 2. And we can pause there because that inequality is going to be really important. So we would try to categorize this as a linear equation problem where your slope changes. It's only 120 for two weeks and then it's 180 for the rest of the time. So your goal here is, you know, you know you did it correctly if your uh, final equation has 180 as your slope. So I'm going to open up Desmos because it's just going to be a plug our two points in and get our line. But we want to be careful with those two points. So since they said t has to be greater than 2, or our weeks, I'm just going to say week 3 and week 4. And to calculate that, well, we started with 1600 in week 0. We add 120 for week 1 and week 2. And then we add 180 for week 3. Week 4 is going to be uh, just a little bit different. It's still week 0, week 1, week 2, week 3, and then week 4. So if I graph this, I know I did it right because I got my 180 for my slope. Now I'm going to jump back and we can write down that equation. Y is equal to 180X or T plus, what was it? 1480. And then it's weird because I, I don't see my answer down below, but let's just make sure what they say here. They say gives the predicted number of gold still needed to reach the goal. So what does our equation give us? Let's, let's jump back here. And my graph is really steep, so it's actually not going to help us. Like, I can't look at points on it. So what I can do is I can bring this down. I can make this f of x. And I can say, well, okay, at week three, what number are we getting? And we get 2020. And we just have to think, oh, yeah, so when, when I'm at week three, we have 2,020 gold. But they want to know how much gold we still need. So if I had 2020, how would I figure out how much gold I still need? Well, I just take my goal of 3,000 and I minus the 2020 and this gives me how much gold I need. So that's kind of the direction we want to go. You actually take your goal, you subtract the equation that we have, and this should give us what, uh, or rather how much gold we're missing from our goal. So if we do this, I do 3,000 minus that, that gets me 1520 and then minus 180x. If you want to double check if that works, you can just make another function, g of x is equal to this. And I can say, well, at week three, how much gold do I still need? And that's correct because we have 2020, we still need 980. I jump back and I look for that 1520 minus 180x, and I can see that's going to be my answer choice, C.